The gift that we delivered to the mayor for the queen is... Those crooks are not gonna get away with this! It doesn't look like they jimmied the door either. They must have decrypted the combination and opened it, or... Could they have really cracked the combination? It's not impossible, but I imagine it'd be difficult for anyone besides a skilled pro. My best guess is that they figured out the combination using a much simpler means. What do you mean by simpler means? Well, let's see. They could have, for example, dusted the buttons with a special powder. A powder like that would have absorptive properties, and due to its fineness, it would be invisible to the naked eye. However, if a blue light were placed over it, it would glow. All right, and? Now, let's imagine for a minute that the mayor entered the combination with the powder present. The powder on the buttons would stick to his fingers and come off. This would be one way to know which buttons were pressed. Now, wait a minute. Wouldn't they still not know the order in which the buttons were pressed? That's not exactly the case. As the powder collected on the fingers increased, the amount taken from the buttons would decrease. In other words, the crooks could press the buttons in order starting from the least luminescent. It might be a little more difficult if there were duplicate numbers, but the crooks should be able to make a pretty good guess as to what they are. That makes sense. Joshua, are you a genius or something? That's just basic knowledge. Anyway, let's check out the buttons. Just as I thought, powder was used. Now there's no doubt in my mind that this safe was opened using the same method I just explained. Oh, right. Now, the big question is, who dusted the buttons with that powder? We know it would have had to at least be someone who visited the residence. Right. Now, figuring out who that is, that's going to be the tricky part. This pot's been tipped over, but there's nothing inside. It looks like it only tipped over after being hit by something with force. This is just a clutter box, right? It's empty as well. The box lock looks like it was burned off. The criminals may have used an orbital gun. This place is all torn apart. Lita would probably faint if she saw this. It looks like all the books on the shelf have been scattered about the room. It seems kind of senseless to have done all this. It's just like the mayor to have a ton of difficult books like this. It looks like he's got some valuable antique books here as well. The criminals either had no idea about the value of the books, or... There are several documents inside the drawer. They don't appear to have been disturbed. They seem to be documents regarding Roland City's government. The fact that these are as they are suggests there was no political aim involved. Look! There are some marks on this railing! You're right. And they're fresh, too. It looks like something metal dug into the wood. Huh? What's this? Don't you think it's a bit strange for a leaf to be in a place like this? On top of that, it's not a type that grows around here. You're sharp, Estelle. This is the place where the residents were locked up. It was probably dropped by one of the criminals as they were locking everybody up. So it's a key piece of material evidence, right? I had such a scare! I was cleaning up the attic when suddenly a bunch of masked men came barging in. Masked men, huh? That means this wasn't a one-man job. How many people were in the group? Hmm... I'd probably guess about three or four. Oh, that reminds me. One of them was short. It might have even been a girl. Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. The intruders weren't violent toward us. Is there anything in particular you noticed about the intruders? They were wearing masks, so I wouldn't be able to tell you about any specific features. That reminds me. I'm certain the front door was locked. I locked the door just to be safe since my husband had gone to the chapel and there were just the two of us here. I wonder how in the world they got in. door was locked at the time of the burglary, right? It doesn't look like the lock's been broken either. Which means they got in another way. I've had the mayor run me through all the details. How about you two? 
Did you find anything? All right, then let's check the details one by one and see what you've come up with. First off, what were the criminals after? How many of them were there? Where did they get into the house from? Point blank, what is the portrait of those thought to have committed the crime? Wow, you did a good job investigating. It looks like we'll be able to specify who the criminals are with this information. Mayor Klaus, over the past two or three days, have you had any new faces in your study? When you put it that way, well, I guess there's been a number of people. That reporter from the magazine company was one. Oh, so those two came to visit you too, huh? But at the time of the crime, they were with us at the Esmailis Tower. I think we can cross them off the list of suspects. I see. So, Mayor Klaus, were there any others? Other than that, there was only Josette. <laughs> but let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit of a stretch for her to be our thief. After all, she's a student at the Royal Academy. Criminals aren't always dressed so they can be easily spotted. As for a school uniform, if someone put their mind to it, they could create a replica. But I'm telling you, she was a really nice girl. She was modest and courteous. Right, Joshua? I'm sorry to say this, but I completely disagree. Huh? During that time, when the mayor put the septium into the safe, that girl's eyes lit up like a hunter's, eyeing her prey. Of course, since I had no conclusive evidence, I couldn't call her out on it. But, at least to me, she didn't look like any ordinary student. You... you must be joking. Unbelievable! At any rate, it looks like we're going to have to ask this girl a few questions. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? If I remember right, she should be staying at the hotel. But she said something about taking off from Roland sometime today. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hurry then. Estelle, Joshua, let's try the hotel first. Right! Understood. Estelle, Joshua, and even Sherzard. Is something the matter? Do you remember a girl named Josette? She's a student from the Royal Academy who should be staying here. Of course I remember her, but she checked out just a moment ago. Shoot, we're a minute too late. Let's hurry to the landing port. We might be able to catch her there. She really didn't seem like a bad girl. Hmm. Please excuse the delay. The airliner should be arriving any time now, so please be patient. Yo, Alan! It's us! If you haven't noticed... Oh, it's you guys! Ooh, and Sherizard too! Thank you, Adios, for this Feast of the Eyes. So, uh, what's up? You didn't by any chance happen to see a girl in a school uniform around here, did you? A girl in a school uniform? A school uniform from where? From the Genis Royal Academy. Oh, baby! Those uniforms are so hot! The contrast of those neatly pleated white skirts and navy blue socks. Oh, yes, I can see them now! I totally forget what the boys' uniforms look like, though. This is one obsession I just don't get. Thus defineth man's eternal struggle. Back on topic here, so you didn't see a girl in a Royal Academy uniform? Nope, not this month. And believe me, I watch for those. I check all the passengers boarding and disembarking, so I can tell you at least that she hasn't come here. Which means that she came to Roland along the roads without using an airliner. This complicates things. Our search field suddenly got much bigger. Come to think of it, there must be others, so they've got to be hiding somewhere. Wait, that reminds me! What does, Estelle? I almost forgot that we found this! Could this be some sort of a clue? Oh right, we did find that. 
Shara, do you know of any places nearby where survey trees grow? Survey trees, huh? I'm pretty certain they grow in Mistwald, south of Roland. Mistwald? That's the forest in the opposite direction from home is Roland, right? It seems like it's worth looking into. That settles it. Let's hit up the highway through Roland's south gate. You're really excited, aren't you? Well, whatever it is, good luck! Wait up! You're running like a crazed lunatic! Who can just walk? At a time like this? Maybe I should think about cutting back on those blasted cigarettes. What are the two of you up to? New kids again, huh? Actually, we've got to get to Bose ASAP. But the airliner's not even here yet. I know. That's why we're heading there on foot. It'll take some time, but it's not a distance that we can't cover by ourselves. Well, don't wear yourselves out too badly. By the way, are you after a scoop or something? Yeah. And the mother of all scoops, too. No time to talk. We gotta make it there today. I wonder if Niall's going to be alright. See you later, Estelle, Joshua. Well, aren't they a lively pair? Friends of yours? Those were the reporters from one of the jobs Dad asked us to take over. I wonder what's going on. Let's move out! Let's move out! Can you tell us anything, Shara? Mm. Someone came through here all right. 
From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I'd read your mirror were on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for bracers. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that! Understood.
that then. Let's move out. Good to go. <laughs> that was too easy. And to think that something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Don and Kyle hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that act wearing that school uniform was simply astounding. Just what you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. Yeah, yeah. But what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that in this outfit I can deceive almost anyone. That gullible mayor and dim-witted bracer girl. Idiots, the whole lot of them. Calm down. Let's see what else they have to say. Fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, so you're the one who screwed up their job. If you had just done it like you were supposed to, I wouldn't have had to put on a monkey show to get this thing. <sighs> My apologies. <sighs> eh, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being bracers was an absolute joke. Especially that brainless bimbo! <laughs> she honestly believed that we could be friends. <laughs> what a freaking moron. I had to try so hard just to keep from laughing. Well, that is <laughs> it's stupid so absurd. <laughs> What's so funny? It's you guys. Yup. It's the brainless bimbo and her absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably will come as a surprise, but we're gonna beat you up now. What? Bracers? How did they find... You did a fine job stealing that septium from the mayor's residence. But it looks like you were a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you were hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, and burglary. It would be in your best interest not to resist. But I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good! Well, what are we going to do now, Josette? How about you quit quaking in your boots for starters? These bracers are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. I think it's time we showed them the real strength of the Kapwa family. Who are you to be calling us kids? You... you brat! I've had it up to here, and I'm going to do something about it right now! Hey, that's my line! Boys, get him! Understood! Roger that! My pleasure.
taking bracers lightly. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Hey, that septium belongs to me. No, not to you. To the people of Roland, that's who. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we've got the crystal bag, how about we move on to confession time? That's an interesting name you mentioned. The Capua family, was it? Me and my big mouth? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. So, you want to be a tough egg to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. What are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that! Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. But don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. Eek! Get away from me, you crazy witch! I think Shara's enjoying this. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out! Shara! An orgo gun? Are you all right, Shira? I'm fine. Forget about me. Look at that. An airship? <laughs> Looks like the tables are turned in our favor now, aren't they? Are you okay, Josette? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give us a hand. No can do. Our push into the Roland region has been put on hold. Something big came up in the Bose region while you were away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on or I'll have to leave you behind. Crap. Uh, just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day. And don't think of one either. Payback's gonna be a beast. Mm, I sure wasn't expecting anything like that to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> it looks like they cut us all off guard. This isn't a laughing matter. Ugh, right now I'm so frustrated I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septium Crystal back. Switching gears, that group sure looked to me like a bunch of Sky Bandits. Yes, they certainly seem of that variety. It also sounds like they made the Bose region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Roland. I couldn't care less if they're Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy, lying, jerk of a tomboy, I'm gonna thwack bam kapow her! What's thwack bam kapow supposed to mean? And looks like you've had a rough day. Who would have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Shira. I let my emotions get the best of me and... I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. Your on-site investigation of the mayor's residence was flawless too. Don't you think you should recommend them, Ina? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses. First comes the payment for a job well done. This is for you both. And take this as well. Th this is... As of now, you both are junior bracers. In other words, bracers in training. In order to become senior bracers, you'll need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the kingdom. And this is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? I had heard that in order to become a full-fledged bracer, we need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs performed in your father's stead and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, these achievements are only for your work here in Roland. You'll need to receive recommendations from the other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bows, Ruans, 
precise, and finally, Grenzel. You've still got a long road ahead of you. Even so, I'm really happy. It was worth all the hard work. Now that we've come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right. Oh, that's the telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracer Guild's Roland branch in the Liberal Kingdom. Ah, it's been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. What? I apologize, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I'll pass on the news to his family. They'll be fine. They're bracers too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, please let me know. What's wrong, Ina? It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bow's branch. Something terrible has happened. The airliner Lind has disappeared over the Bow's region. What? How is that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all other flights have been postponed. Well, that explains the backup at the landing port. And... <laughs> Ina! Estelle, Joshua, please brace yourselves. Your father, Cassius, was aboard the airliner which went missing. What? Impossible! There's gotta be some kind of mistake! It seems his name was on the passenger list. Liberal Bracer Guild. Roland Branch. Senior Bracer. Cassius Bright. 45. Estelle, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. That sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright. Well, make sure to come down before your food gets cold. The Wheel of Fortune card. Again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room, seeing as how close she is with her father. I agree. Hmm. So, what do you think about all of this, Shara? Is it an accident? Or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But, the fact is, an airliner, along with your father, has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened, happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry, I thought I was gonna pass out. Oh, this looks so good. Bon appetit! Aren't you two having any? This is great! The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, thanks. Come on, Shara. Don't just sit there, too. Don't you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Steinrose that's about 20 years old in there. 
Did you say Steinrose? And 20 years old, too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? <sighs> Sorry, Estelle. I'm going to have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh, right. I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of the drawers. Uh, underwear? Oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figured as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh... So, what you're saying is, you intend to head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh. That's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happening to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me. So, I'm gonna go check things out for myself. <laughs> You really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... What? You're so rude, Joshua! But you're coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's gonna take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara? We really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Cher is along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming along with us. <laughs> Myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Ina. I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Shirazar taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Aina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry. If things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grand Soul Branch. By the way, Shirazard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk to you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Mm, um, Shara, if we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, then let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think, they sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Mmm... Estelle? Um... Joshua, what do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. <sighs> Morning air is so refreshing. Hey, look, Joshua! We can see the house from here! You're right. I can see the roof. But do you want to tell me what's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. Mm. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. What? Ten years 
years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free... Um, after the war ended and this place had been rebuilt, I uh, avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just, when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today's okay, right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. Hmm. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua. I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine. So... Huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. Well, what do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would have totally misinterpreted your intentions right now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you are unbelievable. I swear to Adios, try to do something nice. Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. So how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Shara's waiting for us. You're probably right. Hmm. Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. It's so I could become strong and protect others, just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. The two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. Why, my cheeks even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had mobile camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding. Plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. Ah, <sighs> let's not get into that. What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you might be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Shara? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troop at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop in a traveling circus. Shara was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact. I was eleven, and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you about ready to head up for Bose? With airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way. 
by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Verte Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Verte Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. It looks like we're all set, so let's go! Well, good morning, everyone. Are you going on a journey somewhere? Yeah, just over to Bo's. Is that so? Then in that case, could I ask a favor of you? I had wanted to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bo's? Sure, we'll do it. It's just a letter, so sure. Certainly doesn't take up much space. I really appreciate this. All right then, here you are. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein in Bose, right? Yes, the chapel is on the east side of Bose City, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. 